Good morning. <laughs> welcome. Welcome back to a new vlog. Can y'all see me? Let me turn y'all around. Hold on. Let me bring y'all in. Come on in. All right. Welcome and welcome back to a new vlog. I am Gabrielle. If you are new, welcome or welcome back. So today is Thursday. I think today is the either the 20th. Let me see. Let's let's oh my phone in my pocket. Let's see. Today is Thursday, March 21st. It, it is 9:49. And we are on our way out the door. We are headed to Costco. And I want to go to the painted tree. Um, the painted tree is like, it's almost like, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't want to say a flea market <clears throat> because it's not a flea market. But what it is, is it's like an antique. Well, not even antique because it's just different booths set up that individuals own or lease rather. And they have their own products or their own merchandise because some of it can be furniture. It can be clothing. It can be jewelry. It could be quite a number of things. Each booth is set up to its own owner. And I like going in there because I know like sometimes with like jewelry, you can find like little unique pieces because like I said, some of them, or if I even said that, but some of them are like vintage or have a vintage feel. So yeah, so I'm putting on my shoes. I'm trying to think, I don't think, you know what? It don't matter. Um, I was thinking, should I wear socks or shouldn't I wear socks? But my socks are kind of short and they thin, so. They'll be fine because yesterday I made the mistake of <laughs> I made the mistake of putting on a sweater with a long sleeve shirt underneath. And by the middle of the afternoon, it was almost 80 degrees. It was like 75, 76 degrees and I was burning up hot. OK, so today I just got on this little jogging suit. I'll show you all what I have on. I got this little jogging suit from H&M. Let me show you all. I was looking all wrinkled now because I because I um was just sitting down. But yeah, I just have on this HM jogger suit. It's really the pants are too big, and I think I got these pants in a medium. And yeah, and these are my new balance. I don't know which ones are these. 990s. My new balance 990s. And that's it. Don't mind those shoes back there. Those are shoes because we take our shoes off at the door, and I don't have a like a shoe rack so they just take them off and leave them right there but yeah so that is what we got going on today i'm gonna throw i got some shades in my car and i forgot i had these cute little earrings can y'all see them they're like a wavy kind of like material yeah i like these and then look at this y'all my stuff is still <laughs> not put up because I was waiting on a guy to come and reroute, but my husband haven't even got in contact with him. So tomorrow is going to be a rainy, ugly Friday and probably possibly Saturday. So I just said, forget it. What I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to get up and just mop everything. I need to get some glue. My husband bought some product for me to use for the removal of the glue and um just a little it's just a little spot it's not even nothing major but i i know it's there so i gotta fix it and then just put all of my stuff back and get my house in order because i can't i can't <laughs> i just cannot and this is just some of the stuff the other stuff is in a garage and then, you know i just want to clean it up so i'm gonna just do all of my floors and everything because right now my house is looking a mess okay and if you hear anything in the background that's the dishwasher going but, um, yeah, so, oh, that was close. So, yeah, we are on our way out the door. I got my Celsius here. And, um, yeah, I'm about to plug my iPad up because, like I told y'all, today is Thursday. And I do want to get back on my normal schedule with getting vlogs out on Sundays and Thursdays. So, today is Thursday. I got vlog footage. So, we're going to um, get the vlog out for Thursday. The one you're watching right now will probably be Sunday because I'm starting a new vlog. Um, actually, I'm ending Thursday's vlog today, and then I'm also starting Sunday's vlog today. So, disclaimer, if you see me with this outfit on, that's the reason why, because it is still Thursday, okay? 
Okay, and it's looking like I don't have edge to first. It be looking like that in the camera because they and they blind too. Oh my God. All right, y'all. I'm talking y'all ears off. Let me plug my iPad up and get out this dough. I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye. Hey, y'all. So, we didn't been to... Where did I go? Oh, I went to Nordstrom Rack. I know. I know, I know, I know. Not the not the new one, but I, did, I went to a different one. And I got two pair of shoes, a skirt, and a pair of earrings. You know what? I just realized, like, I'm going to stop saying that I don't need to, I don't, I don't need to go shopping. However, what I realize I'm doing is just kind of picking up like spring essentials before spring actually, well, spring is actually technically here because the first day of spring is in, but it's like, I don't know, you know, before the whole rush come in, because actually like we, we're just getting into like consistent warm weather. And I mean, consistent within the last two days. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get it while it's good. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting to get, I'm getting to getting while it's good. Because if we wait, you know, when stuff start hitting these shelves and these racks and these stores, they will be gone in a heartbeat, okay? But nonetheless, I still haven't made it to Costco, but I am at um at this antique store that I've been wanting to frequent. So I'm gonna just go in here and look. You know, you 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 never know what you'll find in the uh, in a antique store so it's antiques and interiors never been in here seen it quite a few times but never been in here so i am just why is this man walking up to people with this mystery box like somebody's supposed to put their hand in there people are so weird like we are in 2024 people don't want to be harassed in a parking lot like with a mystery box it's like 70 degrees outside he got on a winter coat and i think it looked like he might have gloves on you got to be careful out here, okay? And he approaching women. He approached this one man too, but I see he's approaching women. So, but yeah, let me stop talking y'all ears off. Let's go in here and check this out. And then my husband just called me right before I picked y'all up and told me that he wanted me to, well, he didn't ask me to cook, but he told me what he wanted for dinner. And I was like, are you saying you want me to cook? Because I really was not intending on cooking today. So I'm going to make some um, chicken breast, some kale, and some red potatoes. And I'm going to do my chicken breast. If you've ever been to Outback and had their Alice Springs chicken, which is chicken breast with um, Kobe Jack cheese, mushrooms, and theirs come with honey mustard and bacon. I don't do the honey mustard or bacon, but I will do the cheese and the mushrooms. So it's, I'm going to do um, chicken breast with the cheese, the mushrooms, kale, and red potatoes for dinner tonight. So... Now we got to go to the grocery store and we still got to go to Costco. And I think that's probably about it because I, I still got to get this vlog edited. And it's a little bit after 12 o'clock. So it's still early um, enough for me to be able to go home, edit the vlog, make sure I get it uploaded and ready to go by this evening. Yeah. So let's go in here and check this place out together for the first time because we're just on to trying new things it's so beautiful
Okay, y'all. So I am back home. It is almost 2.30. It's 2.17. So I just wanted to show you all what I picked up. So from Publix, I got two bags of kale greens, which I'm going to cook tonight. Got some Claritin because the green pollen is out and my nose and my throat was itching so bad. I am allergic. <laughs> I got two of the Mrs. Dash chicken. This is really, really good on chicken. I put this on chicken or if I do pork chops, I put it on pork chops as well. I got some more Everglade seasoning. This is the all-purpose seasoning I use because it has a little bit less sodium. And I've told y'all this several times, but it has a little bit less sodium than Laurie's. Always got to have accent. It's my fave. It's a lot of controversy with this. People say it's not good for you, but I love it. So <laughs> I buy it. I got two jars of mushrooms to go on our chicken tonight. I got our red potatoes for tonight. I got two packs of the Sargento Creamy Cheddar Jack. Creamery Cheddar Jack. I only got Sargento because they were buy one, get one free. I'm not biased when it comes to any cheese. I just buy cheese. Um, shredded cheese and I prefer like Kobe Jack or Cheddar Jack. Those are my two favorite cheeses. I got some bananas. I got two packages of this Fresca soda water. If you drink squirt, if you've ever drink, um, if you've ever had squirt, this is this is the closest you're going to get without having all the sugar and all of that. It is a sparkling soda water, but it actually is really good. And the fruit, I'm sorry, the fruit, the flavor is grapefruit citrus. So good. I got some bite-sized chips to go with the peso that I bought from uh, Costco. I got a Caesar salad kit for my lunch for tomorrow. And then this is the chicken breast that I buy from Publix. It always look cleaner, like it's not as much like fat or anything on it. And of course, there's no antibacterial, antibacterial <laughs> no antibiotics and things like It's just a cleaner chicken than getting some of I definitely don't buy like the Publix brand chicken and things like that anymore, especially from, you know, what I be hearing about them basically lab making chicken. So this is the one I buy and I got two of those. So four total. And then I got some wine. And then let me show you what I picked up from Costco. So from Costco, I picked up this shrimp tapura, which is so bomb. You just throw them in the air fryer and then that sauce that comes with them is delicious. I got some mandarin oranges because my husband, well, we all eat them, but we be killing these things. I got some more Dove soap. I got another Mrs. Dash. And this is the queso that I was talking about. I've never had it, but I'm sure I like it. And then I also got some cholesterol because my cholesterol is high and well, it's slightly elevated. So I decided to pick these up and I bought some trash bag liners, um, like to go in like the little garbage can, but they're out in the garage. So that's everything that I picked up basically from Costco. Okay, y'all. So y'all saw that I went into that antique store and from the antique store, this is what I picked up, this beautiful, beautiful bowl. Um, it was advertised as like a salad bowl, but of course I'm going to use it as a fruit bowl. But I just thought it was so pretty and it was only like $35. And it's no way that, that I probably would have found something like this at pub. I'm not at Publix, at Home Goods that would have been equivalent. But I just think it's pretty as a fruit bowl. So I got some... Mandarin oranges and some bananas to go with it. Oh, I did pick up some bananas. Oh, yeah. I'm sure y'all saw them and I just skipped right over them. But I picked up bananas too from uh, Publix. But I just think this is so pretty. It's thick and it's super, super heavy. So, happy to have that. Okay, y'all. I hope the light is good enough. It's sunny outside, so hopefully it's giving not too dark on me or not too bright. I don't know. But I wanted to show you all also what I picked up from Nordstrom Rack. I told you I picked up a skirt, which this is it. It's a long black, um, it's like a long black, like everyday kind of like skirt, cotton. It is very, very linty. <laughs> but I like the pleating in the front. That's what kind of drew me to it. Like this pleating right here, this pleating detail on each side. 
So y'all won't be able to see because I'm that short. Hold on. I'm about to do something crazy. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to stand up on this shower so y'all can see. <laughs> okay. Y'all get the gist, okay? It's just like a little black, little plain little skirt. It was $32.97. I got it in the extra large. Honestly, I got it in the extra large because I saw it as I was walking out. I'm gonna try it on for y'all in a minute because I'm about to change my clothes too because it is, I'm burning up. I got on this hot jogging suit and I'm burning the heck up. So I got that. I also picked up these. My daughter said they were ugly. <laughs> My daughter said they were ugly, which, I mean, of course. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Okay, so of course to her, they're ugly, but I thought they were cute and they were different. Um, it's like a loafer, but a mule at the same time by Dosa Vita. And they were $39.97. $39 I got them in an eight and a half. I'll try them on for you. They look so cute and neat. Like, it's just like a cute little mature, um, what am I trying to think of? Sophisticated kind of look. I mean, you can wear it with a white dress. I got a couple of things, a couple ways that I can style them, but I thought they were really cute and different. So, y'all let me know what y'all think, because she just flat out, ugh, those are ugly. Your kids will hurt your feelings, boy. And then I picked up the, I needed a white casual gym shoe, just like all white. So I picked these up. These are by Dosa Vita as well. I got them also in an eight and a half and they were $49.97. This is how they look. And it's got like this, um, can y'all see like this texture? I guess it's kind of almost like a faux snake skin, I guess I want to say. But I like them because they didn't have a white sole. The one thing about getting a, a white casual gym shoe is that if they have a white sole and that white sole start to get dirty, it just messes up the whole look of the shoe. So I was like, you know, this is a cute platform. The sole is not white and it literally can go with skirts, jeans, shorts, dresses you name it they'll match so this is them and i thought they were really really cute and the last thing i picked up were these earrings off of the clearance rack i love earrings y'all but i thought these were really nice and you know a little unique they, they have like that kind of like a faux rope look but oh i got them upside down <laughs> they got like the faux rope look but i thought they were cute and they were on clearance for eleven dollars oh, can y'all see that they were on clearance for eleven dollars and 98 cent so yeah these were really cute just a nice gold hoop that's my daughter y'all she just got in from school my youngest daughter and then I also went to Ulta, but when I go into like Ulta and Sephora's, I don't like peruse around. If I go, I'm going for a specific item and that's it. I don't wear makeup. I'm pretty much set on like the lip glosses I wear. Um, I don't buy hair products from there. I literally go in, get what I need and come out. That's the only reason I go. Because I don't go to just kind of see, oh, what's new? What's this? I'm not looking at makeup stuff, so that's not me. But I just picked up another um, proactive kit. I honestly only needed the um, the toner. But when she rang the toner up, she rang the toner up, and it was $26. And I'm like, $26? When this kit is $35, I'm like, I, another, you know, nine, ten, well, like another $10, $11 with tax and everything, I might as well just get the whole kit. So that's what I did. This is actually going to be my last time, though, buying this size. I'm just going to go ahead and get the bigger sizes. Like, um, I don't even know. I don't know what the ounces are. But I'm going to get the bigger sizes because 
I'll go through these in like a month, maybe six weeks at the most. So picked up that from Ulta. And of course, she don't want to be on camera, but she's sitting here staring. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me let y'all go. I'm about to change my clothes, turn on the AC because it is burning up. It's just, it's hot. So I'll talk to y'all later in a minute. Bye. Okay, here is how the skirt looks. I think it fits really cute. You probably really can't tell in this mirror. This is a weird angle. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Can y'all kind of tell? Okay, that might be a little better. And my husband bought me this shirt. I didn't even know. It says, I'm just I'm just out here walking by faith. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. So, I just thought this was cute. And I just put on some like little dad sandals or some little slides or something, but it just something easy, breezy, cool, flowy. Um, yeah, cute. It fits really neat. I'm just now getting into long skirts because for a long time, this is the reason why I look where it is. Like, because I'm short, the skirts always, you know, and I feel like this skirt, I don't know why I feel, and I didn't even know this, this skirt had pockets, but I just think it's something cute and neat to throw on. Like if you just run in a couple of errands and you want to feel free, you know, nothing on your legs. Just get a breeze, you know. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to show y'all how the, um, how the skirt looked. All right, y'all. Bye again. Hey, y'all. So it is a little later in the day. Um, actually, it's like six o'clock now. <laughs> so it's later in the day. But I am cooking. But I do want to show y'all, look how my fruit bowl came out. Like, isn't it? It just looks so pretty. Hold on, let me turn y'all around. Don't mind the other stuff that's sitting there. That's my wine, <laughs> my ring. But I just think it turned out so pretty. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It just cracks me up how you cook kale and look how much kale in here. By the time it's all said and done, this is like basically a bag, basically two bags. And yeah, it's sticking up out the pot. But then in a few minutes, it's going to be probably two tablespoons. And then I got my potatoes back here boiling and I'm about to clean and um, get my chicken breast on. And then we'll pretty much be set. And it is. 6.02, so dinner should be ready by seven. All right, y'all, bye.
think I don't think I showed y'all this, but this is one of the birthday presents my daughter got for her birthday. This big Kurt Geiger bag. This thing is humongous. This is like the new extra large. I asked, I'm like, why would you want a bag this big? <laughs> my young, my oldest daughter kept saying it's a carry-on. Girl, we was cracking up, okay? But it is huge, like huge. I won't show y'all what she got in here. I don't even know what she got in here, but this thing is huge. She got it the day we were at Atlantic Station. She got it from Dillard's. Um, there, look at this. Compared to my head. <laughs> All right, y'all. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, I am looking a hot mess. But I'm about to get this hot mess back there together. Clean up all, well, it ain't nothing but the kitchen stuff, the, the kitchen chairs, the garbage can, and little stuff in the pantry, and the little stuff that's um, in the garage. But I am actually here. I wanted to show y'all this stuff. Now, my husband does floor, so I don't know if you can like just order this or not. But when we had those hardwood floors in our kitchen, um, some of the planks were coming up, so the guys had came back and put like, sorry if y'all hear the washer in the background, but, um, they came and put like some glue down and the glue seeped through the hardwood on to the ceramic tile that was underneath. And my husband bought this stuff, let me put the top on it, um, but my husband bought this stuff and it is working fantastic, like, I'm trying to get the top on it is, let me show y'all what it's called. Make sure I ain't getting it on my hand because it's strong. This is what it's called. It's called Clean Strip Premium Stripper. Um, this is everything that it does. It works fast, 15 minutes. So here it is, what I'm doing now. So what I did was I poured some onto the floor onto all the areas that had the glue. I don't know if y'all can see, but um, yeah, y'all can see. <laughs> but I did that and I let it sit for a little while. And then what I'm doing now is just like scraping it and you'll see it's turning to like, you see this jelly-like consistency? All of that is the glue. You can see like the resistance of, you know, the glue coming up, but you can see it like clunking up. Like that, that is all the glue. This stuff works so good, so easy. And he brought me this little scraper to um, scrape it with. And it's just coming right up. Like you see all those clumps in there like that? All of that is the glue. This area right here hasn't been done. And this was the part, this part right here was where the most, where most of it was. So I'm about to continue to do that. But I just wanted to share just in case somebody you know, have any, see this glue right here? You see it's like giving a little, you know, a little resistant, but look how easy it's just scraping right up. Like all, oh, it is coming right, right up. So, I just thought I'd share that with you all because it definitely works. <laughs> it's kind of strong, it smells, but Look at that. I mean, it's just clumping. It just, like, literally, the glue is just coming right up. So, just thought I'd share, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm about to continue to get this up, mop these floors, and clean my house up, get it back in order, and then I will holla at y'all in a minute. Bye. Hey, y'all. Today is Saturday. Hold on, let me turn this TV down. I know y'all like, girl, we can't hear you over the TV. I got on these, um... These blue light glasses that I ordered from Amazon. I think I ordered them yesterday. Um, yeah, I think, and the mute my daughter upstairs in the shower music on. But yeah, I ordered these off of Amazon yesterday because the ones I had were trash. They did not work at all. Don't know if I quite like them. I mean, they just to wear around the house. I'm not, I mean, they're not for like style or <laughs> nothing. I think they, I just, typed in I think oversized blue light glasses or something like that and these came about they had good reviews and they really do work like I can definitely tell 
the difference in like having them on and having them off. But I did want to come in and show y'all that I, I was able to get all of that glue off of the um, floor and it looks so much better <laughs> with these floors. Like I am so, I'm telling y'all, I cannot tell y'all, I am so excited about having my floors back. Hold on y'all up too far. Okay, there we go. Yes, I am over the moon about having my floors back. Still, I went to two different, I didn't even show y'all, but I went to two different floor decor to find that tile to no avail. So hopefully, prayerfully, we'll be able to maybe like get a piece from up either up under the washer dryer or maybe up under um, the refrigerator stove or something. I mean, I said the refrigerator, not the stove, but the uh, washer and dryer. But I am on the hunt. I found a kitchen table because I'm over. This is so old. Like I'm just giving this away. When I, whenever I get my new new kitchen table, I'm giving this away. But I did find one, and I want it to be either oval or rectangle. I don't want another round table. I need something, it could be a little bit bigger because I have plenty of space on either side. Let me come over here. See, I have plenty of space here to pull it, you know, to come down a little bit more. And then I still have space over here. Definitely got a lot of space over here. And then I never really show this area, but this area right here, I'm actually, my plans for this because right now it's just the place for mail. But I want to make it like a, like a bar, almost like a bar kind of situation where it's like shelving up there. I want like some type of backsplash up the wall. I want a recessed light to come down from the ceiling, shelving. Um, I'm going to make keep the countertop like situation here and then I'm going to put a mini fridge underneath. So that is that. And while we're talking about stuff I ordered but <laughs> while we're talking about stuff I forgot to show y'all these hold on I got these in the mail um today too from Amazon and they're some biker shorts but they're sheer on the side I have this top that I got from H&M that I think will look right with these I was gonna get like all sheer or maybe like sheer in the front but I said I'm gonna be a little modest, okay? I'm be a little modest. <laughs> so we'll try these on later. I got them in an extra large. Like I said, they're black. They have the sheer on the side. And yeah, we're gonna try these and see what they look like. The sheer is kind of like it's not necessarily on the side because it's in the front a little bit too. So it was like kind of like your side and a little bit in the front. So, and I think these were like, I want to say they were like 18 bucks or so, something like that. Yeah, but what y'all doing? Like I said, I think I told y'all today was Saturday. Yeah, I did tell y'all today was Saturday. Only place I went to was Little Caesars. Had to try the Crazy Puffs. I grew up on Little Caesars, like, when I tell y'all, when I first moved out here, they didn't have Little Caesars and they didn't have Jets Pizza. Well, now they got both. And Little Caesars is not too far from my house. And they are spread out everywhere through Georgia now, I'm sure. So I tried the Crazy Puffs. I tried the Pepperoni. They were bomb. I was greedy. I got two orders. I did. I really did. And look what else I got, y'all. crumble cookie. I opted not for, oh, I did eat a banana, but I opted for crumble cookie. And these are my daughter, well, the ones that aren't eaten are my daughters, but mine is the, well, the two I had were in the middle. I had the semi-chocolate chunk and then oatmeal raisin. Both are delicious. This is a brookie and I'm assuming this may be like some kind of 
peanut butter greasy situation. I don't know. I don't like peanut butter. And then I still have some of the, the puffs over there. So for my ladies out there, y'all know what this means. It's that time of the month, okay? For me, and I do not eat like that. Probably really never. I rarely eat bad like that. Um, and, and this is where I've been sitting, wrapped up in this blanket, or I've been laying over that way. So, yeah, I'm eating pretty much everything. It goes from I want sweet to um, savory. I absolutely love, 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 love. And I don't think I ever even told y'all this. Hold on, y'all probably got all kind of stuff in my eye because I really been chilling hard today. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. It's probably about two. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, shoot, it's three. 3.06, but... I have always loved pumpkin seeds since I was a little girl. This brand, it has to be David. I cannot eat any other brand of pumpkin seed. Has to be David. Has to be David. And I literally buy like four and five bags at a time. I know, plenty of sodium, plenty of sodium. But I literally have been eating them since I was a little girl. Since I probably was about nine or ten years old love pumpkin seeds so thought i'd share <laughs> do i got any other people out here it's comment down below if you love pumpkin seeds or you eat pumpkin seeds on a regular because i know i do let me raise my hand and be the first to tell y'all i do but um i have not done nothing to my edges in two days and i was wondering why yesterday i was so 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 tired but i did get up and clean up um, and mop and do all of that stuff yesterday. So it feels good to be sitting around sitting around in a clean home, which my house is rarely, not even going to say really, my house is never dirty, but you know, you got to wipe stuff down every now and again to keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but I'm done talking y'all ears off. I just wanted to come in and say, hey, and kind of give y'all an update of what I was doing today because I'm not doing nothing, definitely not doing anything that is vlog worthy. So yeah, I would try on, I don't know if I'm going to get to it in this vlog because like I said, it's that time of the month, so I'm not feeling like my best. Of course, I'm feeling all bloated. Plus, I just sat here and ate pizza puffs and cookies, so we might not try the outfit on today. And I don't even think I even showed y'all that shirt that I got from H&M. I got it a couple weeks ago. I don't think I showed y'all that shirt, but I'll show it to y'all when I go upstairs. All right, y'all. I don't want to talk y'all ears off no longer. See y'all. Bye.